Dr. Leninger, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit more in depth about erectile dysfunction and chiropractic uh, and, and low back pain and how those three kind of are combined. So on my blog post today, we quoted a study from National Institute of Health in Bethesda, Maryland, where they correlated the frequency of uh, back pain and nerve interference and erectile dysfunction. So if you go to my blog, uh, today's blog post is, is uh, the March 11th. If you go to that for 2014, uh, you, can, you, can, you can click on that and actually go to the study. Otherwise, I'll briefly just kind of tell you what the study found. What they found was the most, one of the most common problems, there are many things that can cause erectile dysfunction, like poor circulation, things like that. Uh, medications can cause it. Stress can cause it. One of the most common things that they said causes it, though, is a problem between the nerves coming from the brain going down the pelvic nerve, actually into the sexual organs, the penis, in a male. So they're talking not necessarily about blood problems, which a lot of people associate with erectile dysfunction, and it is one of the causes. But they said the, one of the more common ones is a problem with the nerves that are going from the, the, uh, the spine, the lower part of the spine, where they communicate up here with the brain. So the brain sends a signal down the spinal cord here, like a river flowing through the spinal cord, out through the nerve here, the pelvic nerve, out of the spine, into the penis, okay? And if that is not, that communication is not at 100%, if that nerve gets interfered with, uh, you can have erectile dysfunction. You can also have, guess what? Back pain. So nine times out of 10, when a patient comes into my office with back pain, a male patient, I'll always ask him in the exam, are you having erectile dysfunction? And man, if 50% of them are, they always, 50% of the patients say, yes, I'm having that problem too. And it's because they're not only having inflammation here in their muscle, they're having a pinched nerve going to affect the, the sexual organs as well, and they're not able to maintain erection. Okay, it's a very common condition that's associated with lower back pain. It's because, let's say we take a cross section of the spine out, and you can see this is, let's say this is the nerve that controls the penis. If you get a subluxation here and the nerve pinches right here, well, you're, that nerve is inflamed, okay? It's not, it turns from yellow to red, and it doesn't send all the, all, it's like stepping on a hose. The water's not coming out, okay? So what happens is, you can't maintain an erection, okay? It's in, in many cases if this nerve goes to the penis. So what, what chiropractors do is we, we diagnose this little problem here called subluxation. And if this is the cause of the, of the, the, uh, the inability to maintain erection, the erectile dysfunction, and the back pain, uh, what we'll do is we'll go in once we find this and we'll do a little click here, a little what's called an adjustment, to, this, to the lower lumbar vertebrae in this area, okay? So that now, now we've removed the interference from the nerve and the nerve now can feed information from the brain correctly and it's not inflamed anymore. It turns from red back to yellow and now the body can function normally and the brain can talk to the organs, in this case the penis and the back normally and all the inflammation starts to calm down. So now not only does the back pain go away, but many times when I do the re-exam with the same patient who told me in the first exam on day one that he can't get an erection and maintain it, now he's telling me a month, two months down the road that yes, not only is his back pain gone, but now his marriage is improved. And that's a great feeling and that's one of the things I love about doing my job is that I don't get to help just people with back, simple low back pain. I get to hear things like, oh my God, my wife's so happy now. I get to hear, um, you know, my marriage has improved. Um, and that's what gets me up in the morning and, and keeps me doing this job for over 10 years now. Uh, thanks for listening, and I'll see you on the next video. I'm Dr. Leninger.